All right, good morning, boys and girls. Ah, uh, stop, stop, stop. Obviously, you all got up so early to cook mum breakfast. You're a bit tired and worn out. Let's try that again. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Vernon. Yeah, good morning, Vernon. It is good. It's a great morning, and we get to look at God's Word together. And we've been learning a memory verse. Uh, we're learning a memory verse for this series, and we learn a memory verse so that we can put God's Word in our hearts and minds, and everyone's learning God's Word. And so adults, you're going to help us out in this one as well. But next week is our Mars Bar Challenge, where I give away a box of wheat bix to whoever knows the memory verse. Is that right? No. no. You get a Mars Bar for remembering the memory verse. And we're going to go through it today. And remember, we've done it over three weeks already. So this is the third week. I'm going to take you back and remember them. And I want you to say it after me. Now, I haven't got Mr. Bailey's rhyme, rhythm or rap. So I'm just going to say it. And I want you to say it after me. Can you guys do that? You guys can do that. All right. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. All right. And now people are interrupting me up the front. So we're just going to say it after Mr. Gabbard. Okay. And in the first week, we learned about being in God's image. Okay, we learn about being in God's in, in a second, Molly. I'll come to you in a sec. We learn about being in God's image, and we learn what that means. The, ne, the week after, Mr. Bailey took us to this part. Okay, and he had a terrific rap. I can't do that, but you're just going to say it after me. They'll rule the fish of the sea, rule the fish of the birds of the sky, the, of the, sky. The, animals. the animals, all the earth. And the creatures that crawl on the earth. So we'll give them one job. What was our job? Hands up. What was our job? High five. Great answer, mate. Good job. We were meant to take care of the animals and to look after them because God had made them. Molly, what was your question? I'll be like pinching me on the button. That's okay. That's because we're all made in God's image and we have senses as well. We're going to go to today's one. Let's go to today's one, and then we're going to think about this together. Okay? So God created man. Ah, uh, stop. You guys have got to listen. So God created man. God created man. In his own image. In his own image. He created man. In the image of God. He created them. Male and female. All right, we're going to pick up one word that said three times. Does anyone know the word that was said three times there? Starts with C. Starts with C, yes. Created. Well done, Master One. Great answer, created. Now, this has been a week of big creation, okay? Last Monday, what finished on television? Lego Masters and Scotty and Owen finally won. 28 hours of building with Lego pieces, thousands and thousands of the blood, sweat and tears and a dance party in the middle. Okay, that was creation. This week, I had a new bookcase built in my office. Okay, hammers and tape measures and wood and all sorts of things. And it's really true. It's so good that I don't even want to put books back on it. And then last weekend at the show, there was a pavilion full of magnificent kinds of art. And people had spent hours using brushes and crayons and paper and borders to make stuff. Now, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. When people made those things, Lego masters, bookcases and paintings, did they use a lot of stuff or did they just make it out of nothing? They used a lot of stuff, didn't they? And there was a lot of effort and a lot of work. Now, when God created, did God use a lot of stuff or did he make it out of nothing? He made it out of nothing. He just spoke. And there's human beings and trees and sunrises and sunsets and <laughs> bananas and apples, all the wonderful things. So I want you to remember as you remember this one, when God created, he made everything out of nothing. You can remember the verse there and you'll be able to draw on that and draw things on it and put it on the fridge to remember it for next week. We're going to get that in a second and I want you to remember God created out of nothing. 
Let me pray and then we'll get our sheets. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you spoke and created amazing things out of nothing. Thank you that we can create things just like you, but you are special and one of a kind. Thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen.